Hello Galaxy of Heroes, long time no see. Uh, this is round five, where are we? What month are we in? We're in November, it's just gone Memorial Day. Memorial Day? Remembrance Sunday. Um, so this would have been recorded Saturday the 14th of November. Um, the time on there, by the way, on the uh, the thumbnail, is actually the GAC round timer, not the battle timer. Um, so yeah, literally, uh, I've, I got my last battle in, last hit, with one second remaining. And then found that um, my opponent had contacted me in game chat. So I had a quick chit chat there as well. So yeah, here we go. Um, Ray 3v3 facing ultimate rays. Um, my counter of choice is the Merc himself, Mr. SLK R, um, with Hermit Yoda. So it's a, uh, an under, un, undersized squad, but it proves very effective. And now we're going to use. So I have got. I've got. At present, we have four Galactic Legends. I have all four of them. My. My online shopping channel, Galactic Legend, JML, is um, has six eaters. That's it. Has six eaters. Uh, I'm working on the ultimate. My toss him over the balcony, dude. Palps, C, whatever. Sith Eternal Emperor. Ominous old geezer in a black robe. Um, have him Relic 7 as well. So all my Galactic Legends are now Relic 7. He, so I have him Relic 7. Um, but he has no Zetas whatsoever. I'm mentioning him because I believe he may make an appearance in one of these battles. Um, yeah. So... I've held off loads of stuff going on. In case you're wondering... I'm still in recovery uh, in August this year, end of August. Ooh, I'm walking through apartments. Very wet. It's been raining here. Uh, end of August, I had my gallbladder removed and it all went peat tong. I ended up with sepsis, collapsed lung. Um, they, they got me on breathing exercises, the physio team to work on the collapsed lung, getting that back up. And, um, sorry, it was partially collapsed. Um, yeah, so physio for that. Uh, they're able to identify which antibiotic to treat my sepsis with. Uh, so they got that under control. And then they discovered when I was finally moved from ICU up to a ward they finally well they then realized on examining my wound from what was meant to be a laparoscopic procedure which went full blown open open him up um, that my wound had also became become infected so my one day you know my day uh, case or whatever um, changed from being one day 25th of August to being in hospital until the 6th of September and I was discharged with an air vac pump attached to the wound um, which I had until 29th of September so yeah so all of that the air vac pump's gone wound is slowly healing it still hasn't fully healed as I say this recording is on the 15th of November it still hasn't fully healed um, but it's a long way down the road to recovery there um, and my shoulder because I fractured my shoulder in February and that's been kind of delayed on physio and everything courtesy of the gallstones and the gallbladder procedures and whatnot um, but that's now also been done um, guided injection and stuff so yeah coming back to the game um, I messed up first time round but CLS is, is a great clean up against Darth Revan um, yeah so the shoulders on it's on, on well on the way to being 
fixed as well. In fact, I'm now even seeing a, an acupuncturist who's beating the crap out of me, but um, he's definitely extended my arm range movement. So yes, so any inquiries on into all that, just let you know, get in there, as they say slowly but surely and don't call me surely yeah uh okay so mom mom um through my experiences do not run her with c3po and another tune because all you need to do there is take the other tune out and she goes and so the c3 because they're non-attacking tunes so just think about who you set with mon um and any future opponents of mine please continue to do that uh, obviously this opponent didn't but yeah got through there so um there were a couple of bits on here that i enjoyed uh, yeah this one wasn't too bad this one here i uh, just couldn't be asked to mess about with zombie giving everyone three lives so Put the kill and you stay dead thing onto Vader from the get-go. And then any night sisters that are killed that aren't zombie, stay dead. Yay! Makes it a damn sight easier. Uh, it was either using it there or on the bugs. But um, yeah, used it here. Oh, where are we? Where are we? Because one of the other things that I... I I had great fun in doing. I've got another video somewhere, previous round, where I did all the Django things. This particular round, I hadn't quite completed the thermal detonator challenge. Um, so I actually run, and I'm looking for where I'm going to run it. Um, I actually run a ZAM lead. It's ZAM... Um, Greedo and Dengar, so it's uh, it's kind of like the thermal, the thermal kings. But obviously, it's not yet. Ooh, so I was a little bit fortunate. Spoiler alert: this one. Oh dear, this one. I'm trying to work out. It's probably that I played it completely wrong. But um, so there goes, <laughs> there goes my shack. So I'm down to two clones versus. Oh, two clones v2 resistance but uh one of them's got a not a freeze ray but a stun gun thing so now it's arc v og fin um and we're not doing that well oh we're slowly getting boom there we go we get it <sighs> that was a bit of a nail biter um so we've got some relics bugs there. I keep looking at the um, the Jin lead rebels, which are just gear 12. Sounds crazy to be saying just gear 12, considering gear 12 at one point was what we all strove to achieve. And now it's just gear 12, because now there's a gear 13. And not only is there a gear 13, but there's also relic level seven, so. Yeah, just uh, an indicator of how the uh, the game changes. So I managed to save, uh, save uh, as Urs would say, the money. The money goes and sorts out the bugs quite quite easily. Yay. Darth Revan at his finest there. Sick em. Um uh, yeah, I really was flitting around, but I was also aware that the clock was ticking. And uh, I needed to make quite quick decisions, because that clock ain't stopping for me. They're going to keep on rolling. Rolling, rolling. So going into Bounty Hunters. So this is the one. Zam, Dengar, Gear 12 Greedo. So Zam and Dengar... I have relict. Uh, have a, a little chat going on with um, with the player who's free to play. Um, I think he started playing quite late, so 
he I think I think he might still be sub two million galactic power um, going through yo do we just chat give him advice where I can you know I have to kind of be grounded on the advice I'm giving because he doesn't have everything to his disposal but one of the things that I would advocate is investing some gear into Dengar as Dengar really is you you'll already be working on your your boba your Django, your Bosk, um, but you might kind of neglect Dengar. I, personally, I would invest some time in him. He's great. And um, you can't use Mando and Grief in the dark side territory battles. So you need a couple of dark side bounty hunters and Dengar. Dengar fits into there as well. So this was a bit experimental, wasn't too sure, but I just thought I would try. Um, Crew's kind of a bit of a, a kinky sod. He likes a lot of pain and debuffs put on him. Turns him on, it seems. So um, I just thought they'd be quite resilient. And then I've got First Order Officer, uh, who's got that uh, from you to me option, and um, where he cleanses. So... You know, he's cleaning up crew, um, but crew's then kind of regaining protection. Crew does like to take an absolute battering, and he's built for that. So the pasting he's being given, he's able to uh, handle. Yeah, so that was my th thought process there, and uh, seems to have paid off. The last one gone, 51 banners, so yeah. So we're scoring quite high banners. And as you can see, this is going on. So as I'm attacking my opponent, my opponent's attacking me. <laughs> the uh, the in-game messaging was in regards to the fact that I was his second more opponent. Sorry about that, mate, if you're watching. Actually, I will. I'll make him aware and try and post the link to him in-game. Um, <clears throat> that I do actually record these and yeah, a couple of people might be watching. So, where are we now? I'm in sunlight, so I can't actually see my screen. Um, who, I can't even, wow. It's that bright. Who am I attacking? Oh, I can't even turn it through 90 degrees. So whoever I'm attacking, we're doing, oh, it's Jedi, yeah. Yeah, an interesting kind of, Option, oh, this, is right, yes, yes, yes. So this is the Mr. Beardy, Saris, and Watt combo. Quite annoying. Quite annoying. So, um, <coughs> there's a whole array of synergy going on here between Mr. Beardy and Saris. So we can't critically hit, and, well, it says we can't critically hit, but those yellows flashing up every... <laughs> now and again kind of fly in the face of that and then we've also got um that zaris cleanses someone at the end of each of her goes um i believe she's getting turn meter mr beardy does the cleanse with the retribution and of course what is healing people up and throwing out debuffs and generally being a pain in the ass so kind of not bothering with what it seems a pointless thing he's gonna go once Zaris has gone might have scored a few more banners um, but once I get around and get a few well get some Zetas up um, I'll start slapping them on to lob me over the balcony dude um, and get him kind of properly up and running but there you go 53 banners so wasn't too shabby we, we dropped one from a a pot, well, yeah, because the max with three tunes, I believe, is 54, so we dropped one. So, what we got here? I'm kind of spoiled for choice here. Um, oh, yeah, I decided to change it over and get Padme into the action. Padme, Soka, and, uh, and the lucky boy of JKA to make up the threesome. So, um uh, yeah, this one there, I just thought, you know what, just get rid of Death Trooper, take out Krennic, and then we can uh, tackle um, 
oh god moff tarkin at our leisure so he's uh he's done so now we're into the shippy whips i haven't even looked at the clocks here um hopefully it should show when we get into the final one this actually it doesn't start at the full time because um as i said right at the outset of this recording um the timer shown on the thumbnail is actually the round timer not the actual battle timer so yeah uh, it's on uh, yeah of course it's i've speeded this up just to not subject you to too much of my heavy breathing crackly mic wind blowing um monologue yeah so boom big bada boom they're all gone 66 points there which leaves us one more battle um where we're pretty much going to mirror i believe i think he's set his finalizer and i tend to save my finalizer i've got to be honest i absolutely love the silencer i think the silencer is an awesome ship it's an absolute wrecking machine as long as you can keep it in the battle you can keep it in the battle especially under uh, uh the finalizer capital ship it is just going to wreak havoc um eventually so I was a bit miffed, huh? There's six star finalizer against my seven star, but then of course he's fielding three first order ships in the starting lineup, whereas I'm only fielding two. So I believe that's why he's went before mine and got that lovely graphical cannon shot at the at the outset. So um Gauntlet. I'm loving the Gauntlet. Gauntlet is a I <laughs> Uh, if I could really I mean I know I've done some crazy kind of gearing in the past both my gauntlet pilots are gear 12 I just I was working towards taking um, them both to relic level um, I guess it's only for the ship because unfortunately neither of them do jack in the squad side of battles they just you know i mean technically they both wear mandalorian armor but yeah so there you go sorry um i waffled and, and spoke through the uh the, you know the nearness of this battle so literally one second remaining big bada boom 330k silence a hit gets us the win yay and also i was able to complete another feat so that was round five november 2020 mid-november 2020 grand arena championships all done thank you very much for watching